in Nigeria, where small business enterprises are expected to help resuscitate the country's economy despite the impact of the COVID-19 on the sector. Economic experts say that small business enterprises have contributed about 48% of GDP in the last five years, according to the country's Bureau of Statistics. However, the government's decision to shut down public places, including business centers, adversely affected these enterprises. Here are more details of that in this report. From the designs to the construction of footwares, that's a trade Lawrence Odinaka has spent the past six years doing. The business earns him an average $150 weekly. He has also trained over 100 youths for free. But he's considering closing shop due to the disruptions caused by the COVID-19 economic fallout. Before pandemic, the work, it was so amazing. It was so amazing and everything was flowing well. And then we are producing. As in, in a week, I do produce at least 20 piece in a week. But during the pandemic, everything falls back. Yeah, things fall really, really fall apart. And the, the thing really, really hit us down. Because we are working with raw materials. We even also, we find it so difficult to even get materials. But now, during the pandemic, 5,000 naira I cannot see in a week. Yes, because everywhere was so shut down. People are still fighting on how to feed their family. The small and medium enterprise sector has been supporting wealth creation in Nigeria. The National Bureau of Statistics reports that in the past five years, SMEs have contributed about 48% to the national GDP. The sector accounts for 84% of employments, but is now battling to survive. The combined impact of rising inflation COVID-19 pandemic and current economic recession have caused many businesses to shut down. Government has been making efforts to revive the sector through various interventions, but that hasn't yielded much. It can be better. Like Oliver Twist, we are constantly asking for more. We cannot kill the government. The government herself was also caught on our ways. Government is receiving the survival funds of 30,000. If you have staff of these three and above, you can access it so they can help you so you don't go down. They're also helping you to give you waivers for tax and so on, so that you, you don't disengage your staff, you know. But they need to do more to increase um, consumer spending. Government needs to do more to increase production. It needs to engage the private sector more to see whether the private sector can help extend the financial inclusion. Nigeria's weakened SME sector has translated to massive job loss, rise in poverty and insecurity. Experts are certain that SMEs remain the surest hope to kickstart Nigeria's economic recovery. They're asking government to engage industry players in driving policies that would support and boost operations of SMEs in the country.